I was speaking, uh, chatting uh, with um, uh, a member of the uh, ECC, Jody uh, Ridley, and um, I posted something on my Facebook about um, this time of Lent being a joyful time for us to look at ourselves and to be mindful of our own sinfulness and how we can respond to that call to holiness. And uh, her take on it was a little bit different. She goes, I'd rather not look at sinfulness, but only looking to God with it. And in our chat back and forth, I said, that's important. You must look at the God with it. That's <coughs> from the God with it. Because God is in this tabernacle, this, this little temple here, which is my life. And I receive Christ in the little communion. And I receive Christ in my baptism. God. But I said it's also important for us to have balance. Balance of looking at the God within, as well as times when we detract from God and the God that isn't within. We will pull back always to a love of God. We will pull back always to say, like Moses, like Elijah. Like Abraham, like Jesus, say yes, totally, I'm in. I'm in. And no matter what happens, I'll deal with it. Because ultimately, what it reads me is that magnificent, glorified body which is transformed in holiness. That's a weightiness that spark a divinity in ourselves that God gave us in that creeds. And what a great gift for us to share our life with others. I was talking uh, with a, um, another person, uh, uh, Reverend Kathleen, who's worshipped with us a few times. Really, um, very compassionate, very empathetic individual. And she was, um, she wrote about her life journey, things that have come up in her, her life that she's felt called to do this and this and this. She's been all, kind of all over the place uh, in that answer to the call. And uh, it is full of love, full of love. Um, a great example for us as well, saying, you know, nothing is more important. Nothing could be possibly more important to us than God. We have our spouses, which we love dearly, we have friends, we rely on That's love. We need to call back, come back to that covenant that God made. Jesus is a new Moses. Jesus is a new Elijah. For us. That way. That way to love. So as we continue our Lenten journey, we're mindful of the possibility of our own transfiguration. Each day, little by little, little by little, it's a mindset. I say, Today, I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. A little bit. I have to be leaps and bounds. Most of us don't have these revelations that all of a sudden, like, Paul, like, oh my gosh, falling off his horse. A little bit, three really steps. It's okay. That's how the vast majority of us respond to that call. Tomorrow, I'm going to be better than I was today. Today, I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. I'm going to be responding each day, step by step, into that closer relationship. And I'm here. Christ was holy.